Coming out on short notice, um, obviously you, everyone's aware of the news at, at this point that um, we have uh, come to an agreement with Rogers to postpone the 2014 game in Toronto, and uh, we will have a full slate of games at Ralph Wilson Stadium in 2014. So I'm, uh, I'll just open it up for questions. Just given the fact, given how much hoopla there was in Toronto six years ago, you know, with people talking about fans lining up to Queen Street and tickets prices being high, how big of a disappointment is this for both sides to have it be postponed? Well, John, I, you know, there's been a lot of positives that have come with the series. Um, most notably have been the influx of fans that have come from the Southern Ontario marketplace back to Ralph Wilson Stadium. You know, Southern Ontario and in, in, in the Toronto market in the GTA are now the top secondary market of the Buffalo Bills, um, inching past Rochester. That was far different than when we started this series six years ago. So there have been a lot of positives. Um, we have not played well up there. We have to take responsibility for that. You know, we're one and five up there. And as Coach Marone says all the time, it doesn't matter where we play. Um, I think I referenced Coin Field earlier, and that's a practice field in Syracuse. It doesn't matter if we play there. When you line up, you play to win. That is not, we're not using this, obviously, as an excuse. Um, the, uh, I can't say enough about the partnership that we have with Rogers, which is obviously continuing in, in a different facet for this year. The leadership, uh, the incredible leadership of Ed Rogers, uh, Phil Lind, uh, Keith Pelly, um, everyone within that organization is first class and top notch. And, and quite frankly, that's why I'm standing here today and we were able to work through a very complex set of uh, discussions. Was the, was the atmosphere at the Atlanta game such that you and your organization felt you needed to take a step back? I think that's a fair comment, Mark. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we're trying to build a fan base north of, uh, north of the border. And um, this year, um, you know, I would say it, it was a, a neutral crowd. Um, and some of that had to do, again, with um, how we played over the last six years um, has really not been conducive to building a lot of fans that were NFL fans, but we're trying to make them Bills fans. And we're going to continue to try to do that um, through a, a variety of initiatives that we will be working with Rogers over the next, uh, over the next year in, in a very uh, robust sponsorship and partnership that we will have that will cater to fans above the border. Is there any concern that the postponement may, might be more permanent and that the future of the entire series is in question? Well, I think, John, what's fair there is that we're going to go through a detailed, full analysis. You know, more, most of our analysis that we've been through over the past few months has been more top line. Um, we're going to look at every aspect that if we do come back, we have a um, again, a more robust fan experience and try to create more of a home field advantage for us. Um, right now, um, that, that was not the situation. Um, and that was one of the reasons we'd run or get into a lot of detail with our partners up there and see if, um, uh, if, if that's viable moving forward. You said if, if we do come back, which opens the door possibility well, that you may not. What I said back. is that we're, we're going through a full evaluation process and we'll work with our partners. Right yes, Scott. Um, as you know, a lot of fans feel this is about money and marketing and that you're sacrificing a home game and home field advantage. What's your message to the fans about this? My only mes message is the same thing I told you on January 1st and, and 13. Everything is about winning. The only thing I care about is winning, and this organization is set up in that, in that capacity. Um, you know, obviously we have um, Doug Whaley and, and Coach Marone have – Every resource available to them, um, starting with Doug, with the uh, full complement of, of the salary cap and the full composite of the roster, to put the best product out on the field he possibly, um, what, what he feels is best. So uh, there's nothing else that matters to anyone in this organization than winning, and I feel we're on the right path. Um, when, when you speak to the marketing aspect and when you speak to the business aspect, we are in a business, and uh, we would be remiss if we did not actively try to further regionalize this franchise. We're in a challenge market. We all know that. That is on its way back with the leadership of what people are doing here in Buffalo. There's never been more exciting times in this community. But regionalization is a key lever for us moving forward. 
and Toronto and the southern Ontario marketplace will continue to be that, um, just like Rochester is for us. So that will always be a part of the business plan because at the end of the day, my responsibility is the long-term viability of this franchise, and tr the Toronto marketplace and southern Ontario are a key element to that. Outside of the ticket sales and from Southern Ontario and regionalization efforts, how would you characterize the, the first six years of this series? You know, Joe, I think um, it's been uh, it's been a roller coaster from the standpoint of just the wins and losses. I mean, the, the losses. Um, you know, and that's on us. I mean, we take full responsibility from that. Um, we've made strides in a lot of different ways, especially the game experience. I think has improved um, some of the initiatives that uh, Rogers has worked through on their end have improved um, but um, obviously this past year w was disappointing with that sort of neutral crowd that we had there um, to say the least and um, you know it I think there's been there have been positives I think as I mentioned earlier the biggest positive has been the influx of fans back here at Ralph Wilson Stadium what is the what would you say is the average I think we're, you know, I'm probably close, Mark, but probably about 18% are from the sun on any given Sunday, about 18% from southern Ontario, and about 16% from the Rochester marketplace. So obviously regionalization has worked for us and will continue, as I mentioned earlier, to be an important variable of our business planning moving forward. Have you, if there have been talk there, there has been talk out of Rogers that they plan to put a, an intention to put in a grass field at Rogers Center um, have you are you aware of that and might that affect the series as well I, I've heard rumors of that as well John I don't have confirmation of that the one thing I do know about uh, the folks up there they're very progressive and always looking to enhance the situation that they have at the Rogers Center so um, I, I can honestly tell you that I don't have confirmation I've probably heard the same rumor you have Yeah, we have a, um, a a platform mark that really speaks to the fans in Southern Ontario up to the GTA that will be activated uh, across a variety of platforms uh, by Rogers um, that it will really speak to our Canadian fans, and uh, we're excited about that as well. We've been working uh, in, in parallel on that agreement, and uh, we'll have more information on that in the very near future. So that's an element of your relationship with Rogers that that's is been separate enhanced. from the five-year agreement. Yeah, it's been, in, it's been enhanced, correct. Russ, just, to, yes, Scott. just to clear it up, will there be a Toronto game in the 2015 season? As I mentioned, there's nothing to clear up. We're going through a full evaluation over in, the, in this upcoming 2014 year. So it's still up in the air then? As I mentioned, we're going through a full evaluation. Russ, is there a timeline for the season ticket holders now that this decision has been made in terms of when stuff might be going out to them? Um, they should expect to see information from us in the uh, next few days. Do you think you can sell out eight home games? That'll be it. Uh, we will see, Mark. Um, you know, obviously last year um, we uh, we had to really work for our sellouts, understandably so. But um, you know, that's uh, something that we're willing to take on that challenge. Um, obviously, we have very passionate fans and, and tremendous fans. But um, you know, we have. Uh, we have to really work to sell tickets here, as we've discussed in the past. And um, we're not satisfied until every seat in this building is sold. And uh, that's always the number one initiative and really the, the foundation of how we run our business. Input did Coach Marone and the players have into this decision? No. I mean, you know, obviously from the standpoint of uh, um, collaboration, I keep Coach Marone updated on, on everything uh, relative um, to our business and, and to this organization. Um, when we hired Coach Marone, we, we talked about this. And, um, you know, he, he's old school. You know, he, he's, you know, I'll go play you in the, I'll fight you in the parking lot and play you in the parking lot type of guy. Um, and uh, it, it really doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect him. But um, there's nothing in this organization that um, we don't discuss in totality. And, and uh, you know, I uh, obviously deliver that news to him as well. Point, the wins and losses 
record here? No, I, I think, Joe, the, the tipping point for us was, you know, we're always looking, as I mentioned, you know, when I took over, that um, everything was under evaluation. It didn't matter what it was. And as I mentioned, it, it uh, drew a lot of, uh, uh, I don't know, eyebrows when I mentioned training camp. But um, every single aspect of this football operation that has to do with winning is going to be evaluated. And this was one of the variables and, and one of the platforms that was, uh, that was evaluated. So, um, you know, as I mentioned, the, the winning and losing, the losing is not an excuse. Um, you know, that's, uh, that's on our organization. We need to change that in a, in a variety of ways, and we need to change it right here at Ralph Wilson Stadium. The deal was renewed after you took over as president. Was it just a matter of the negotiations had been for, so, you know. We were far down the road, John, yeah. on that at that point. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks,